Greetings, everyone. This is the Hipster Snack, and today with me is my good buddy Cog. What's and, up? And today we're going to play the Calabunga Collection again and do the one game, the one co-op enabled game, I should say, that neither of us has actually ever played before. We're going to do the Hyperstone Heist, so we're going to get into this. All right, so we're already... Wait a moment. Oh, I see. Interesting. So this, I believe, was a Genesis port of Turtles in Time. What? I that... understand. I didn't get to pick a character. Um, maybe you do it now? Try pressing start now. I... Oh, I can pause the game. It told me, wait a moment. It's saying press start now. Oh, there we go. Okay. Oh, all right. Okay, that's a little different. Okay, it works now. No title screen, no options. We're just getting into it. I thought I'd have a moment to set the options, but I guess we're figuring it out now. Yeah, we have never played Hyperstone Heist directly. I, I suppose we played Turtles in Time, obviously, but, like, this particular port is new to us. Yeah, we start you right off in the sewers. This is different. With the Big Apple 3 a.m. music playing. So yeah. that's different. We didn't get a tile card at all, did we? No, we did not. I don't know if I hit a button or something or what. Oh, the controls are different too. Right, because this would be a... on, on A instead of. Oops. But yeah, because it's the Genesis, right? Yep, three button controller. Yeah, like the, the Super Nintendo version, you had a, an options menu, and you could set how many lives you had, and sound test options, and control configurations. This game's like, nope, you don't get any of that. You're just going straight into it. God be with you. <laughs> Looks like they're kind of softballing this first stage. No, no, like, special gimmicks or anything. We're just yeah. kind of straightforward. I don't mind that. It's a warm-up level. It is. It is. Um, I mean, in terms of the enemy um, contact or the enemy troops, it's, it's it is already slightly a slightly different game. Nope. But there's you no, just kind of there's no like, title card. You just goes straight into the next stage. You just you just you just it's just like a straight run through. Yeah, of a modified game. <laughs> that's that's interesting. I believe like the instruction booklet says like Shredder found this artifact called the Hyperstone and shrank Manhattan with it and is like trying to steal it a la Brainiac or something. It's this is all sorts of weird basically. That that would be something to look at because I know you can look at the manuals. Yeah. Uh, I, I, when I was browsing through, they have uh, the guides or whatever. That's an idea. It should say something about that in there. Oh, you managed to hit me, but I still deflected it. That was weird. That looks like something out of the arcade. It is the trap from the arcade game. <laughs> I'm an idiot. <laughs> That looks like a trap from there. Oh, okay, it was. That's because it is! Oh, that's really a short time. Okay. This yeah, like, in the uh, SNES this Genesis... This is the definition of a, gen of a Genesis port, I guess. <laughs> it, like it, a, it kind a non of is. It, it was a... a uh, It is the definition of a port, basically. <laughs> yeah. And... Where are the boss fights? Why are there no boss fights? Yeah, where are the boss fights? We're just, like, rolling on through. It's just like a bunch of ninjas. Like, I, I... I'm but not sure what to... Like, why give it its own title? Just call it, 
You know, Turtles in Time, abridged. <laughs> the abridged edition. <laughs> or, or like Turtles in Time, um, like Genesis. You know what I mean? Or yeah. Like, or, some... or, or whatever. Just, just put the Sega Genesis and make it the Turtles in Time for it. Don't yeah. call it something else. Yeah, like they came up with a unique story and stuff, but they still use like all the art assets and music assets from Turtles in Time. You can tell a, a lot of the love went to the uh, SNES port. Like, what? Like what? They're like, oh, well, we want to be able to sell part of the game <laughs> on another console. For some reason, they we, don't we have didn't to get the full experience. We didn't feel like making the full game. We just we just used a little bit of it, and that was enough. Yes, it, it'll be a partial port. You won't get any boss fights or title cards. You're just gonna fight ninjas. No, no <laughs> options, no bosses. <laughs> be glad that you get two-player co-op. <laughs> be, be thankful you get that. It just should be Ninja Turtles, Ninja beat 'em up. I mean, like, like why call it a Hyper Stone Heist? Like, there's nothing. Oh wait, we Leatherhead. Got boss... Leatherhead. What? In the sewer. Oh, they don't have. Oh, I was about to say, there's no boss oh, dialogue. Oh, there's dialogue. You are too immature to hang with me. What? What is happening? <laughs> oh, jeez. Okay, okay, okay. Now you're showing me you you put some effort in. All right, this is... So, like, they just combine, like, the first three levels of, of the game into, like, its own level? Holy so crap, he eats through our health crazy fast. Yeah, it shows you a boss. He has a boss health meter, too. Careful. Well, he had a help. They had a health bars in the Super Nintendo version too. Oh, jeez. You go through your full combo, he just like immediately gets a free shot in on you. Goodness, he does a lot of damage. He does. You just kind of got to hit and run. Don't don't go try to go through your full combo. Ugh. What? Oh. Okay. Oof. All right, we got him. With one HP left. I've been beaten by a bunch of teenage turtles. Yeah, that is That's exactly what me. happened. That was scene one? That was... A mysterious, a mysterious ghost ship? Okay. What? So they combined like three levels into one to make an That's original the... game? <laughs> That's the music from Sewer Surfing. What? What's up with the bottle? That is a decoration? They actually tried to make it a... a its a, own original, an original thing, game. apparently. Because now they're... Now, they made the levels longer, because they combined, like, three levels into one. What is the mysterious pizza thing? It didn't do anything. What? Are those just obstacles? Okay. Yeah. Okay. Are they? Yeah, they are. They hurt you. Okay, those obviously will new. hurt you, yes. Okay, yeah, this, this okay, is okay. totally new. Okay, you got our attention now. Okay, so you, you, you borrowed a bunch of stuff and then added some new stuff. But, like, the first level, you basically didn't use anything new. Flying yeah. Mousers? Yeah, the mystery pizza boxes don't actually heal you. They just they, give they you just, a point. I don't... I don't a hundred they points give you a is a life. Point. 100 points is a life, apparently, because I only had one life a second ago. This is all new! Oh, this is different. I mean, they're using oh. the same music with a Genesis sound chip, obviously, but, like... Th they did make an original stage! Yeah. I can't hold those explosives. Interesting. I'm fascinated and stumped at the same time. <laughs> yeah, this is uh, this is a mystery here. Like, did the did Sega just demand they? Ow! Oh, jeez. That was an an original trap. Sort of. Well, the arcade game used something similar. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, it did. Oh, jeez! So, Watch out! Do you think the bot? Right. Whoa. Yeah. Oh yeah, it's like the boat level now. Those are, are still but a thing. It's, it's, yeah, but it's... it's I, I saw that a second too late to help you.
So I'm curious who the boss is gonna be. Yeah, it's like because in the arcade version it's Toka and Razor, in the Super Nintendo version it's Bebop and Rocksteady. So it's like, what are we what are we looking at here? Oh, they even have like a little scrolling background animation. Look at that. Yeah, they do. I noticed oh, that. Oh, we're, we're, oof. We're, we're getting closer and closer to some island. Hmm. Well, they're, they're not shorting us when it comes to environmental hazards. Whoa! Ah, jeez. I thought that was the last of them. My toe! My toe! My toe! Okay, we're just moving right along then. What? <laughs> this is just the caves. Cave? <laughs> this is just the caves in prehistoric turtle sauce. <laughs> <laughs> so, I like, they're we trying were... to, like, this is like a, a fan made sprite comic version of Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Turtles in Time. This is like, yeah, this, look, I changed the color of the cave, and now it's like a Mystic Pirate Cave. It's totally not prehistoric Turtle Saurus, you guys. Yeah, it, 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 it's totally like we're trying to tie together a story that turtles were uh, going on the water, and then they landed on a boat, and then they went to a special island. It's like, no, this is. Still Konami! Konami made this game! So it's like, <laughs> you guys are stealing from yourselves <laughs> in order to make not the same game. But it's the same game! Jeez, he's blocking guys, and I can't even auto dash. Getting behind them and hitting them is like all you can do. Oof. Yeah, we just basically have to gang up on these guys. Just like get yeah. on each side of them. Oh shoot! There we go. Well, that basically worked out. Just for those guys. <laughs> It, it kind of works. You just gotta assume there's always more stone guys around the corner when you see one. You see, uh, it's like ants. You see one, assume there's a million. Back. What? Rocksteady, you look delicious. I'm hungry for some turtle soup. You get that pizza, I still have a life. Which, isn't that what um, Shredder actually did? Shredder says with? something like, tonight I dine on turtle soup or something like that. Yeah. Oh, jeez. Yeah, he has the same problem as Leatherhead. If you go through your full combo, he's just gonna rush you. So you, you gotta kinda take your shots he's and got, get away from him. You know what's funny? He has almost the same combo. His, he's got almost the same... Um, Strategy from Turtles 1. That's true, he's like the arcade version. He's like, like, we just, yeah. I'm not gonna say we just played it, but, you know. We totally just played it. <laughs> we Spoilers. totally did. <laughs> Careful, watch out. I, I recognized it. Oof. Yeah, take a few shots and then get away from him, it's not worth it. You can't stop him once he starts that charge animation. It's better to get away for a few seconds and reassess what he's up to. Ah, uh, thought it was behind him there. Oof. He kicked the other direction and somehow hit me. 
I guess Genesis really does what Nintendo don't. <laughs> Genesis does what Nintendo don't. Remember when I see you next time, I'll beat you. Alright. And he exploded. Wait, where's Raphael? Why am I by myself? Mm. Where's my brother? Shredder's hideout. What is happening? Oh, there you are. Oops. Ah, oh, there, there's some... At least we got another original stage, I think. Unless... This looks like a level in, um... Turtles NES 3, I think. Well, there's a beach boardwalk level there. And yeah, it's it like they, um... They combined a bunch of different... A bunch of different Turtles assets they had lying around. So that yeah. They, they could say that Sega has a unique Ninja Turtles game. I'm sorry, Sega. You got juked. Yeah, th this is, uh... Turtles in Time, the fan comic edition. <laughs> and the, 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 the thing that... The thing that kills me is, like, Turtles were such a huge cultural phenomenon. If you weren't alive in the, in the late 80s, early 90s, it's hard to really even explain. It like, makes me... Ma Sorry, go ahead. I'm oh, it's just like, they were everywhere. There was toys, there was video games, there were board games, there was, like, breakfast cereals. Like, they were everywhere. You could not go, like, five paces without running into something related to the Ninja Turtles. There's a Golden Girls episode where they make a Ninja Turtles joke. Like, the, the, the sheer power of the brand. Like, the original NES had a bundle that, instead of Super Mario Brothers, it came with the original NES Ninja Turtles what game. What did you just say? What this did cave you is, say? Th this cave is creepy. Ah. It's the same thing they say in Turtles in Time. I just wanted to see if you could yeah. fall down it because it looked a little different. Turns out, spoiler alert, yes, you can. And they both got hit by that one. Nice. But it's like... Explaining the pop culture sensation that was Ninja Turtles yeah. is kind of hard. If you weren't there and you didn't see it firsthand, like, people would think you're exaggerating. Like, no, it wasn't that big a deal. No, it was a big deal. The turtles uh, yeah. were everywhere. There, there was a kinda, it, the only other thing I can think of that kind of well, actually, Pokemon completely. Oh yeah, Pokemon. Like, it's like even it was, more of a phenomenon. Yeah, even more th than the turtles were. But the turtles the were a big can, phenomenon. That's yeah. That's, can, that's close. I can think of that it was like it was a big phenomenon, right? But, yeah, like definitely. Like, like, there's that, the that only, comparison. It was is the apt. only comparable sort of thing I can yeah. think of. I mean, Pokemon was way more of a phenomenon. But, but it's the same cool. idea. Yeah. Like, exactly. like how you see Pikachu's and Jigglypuffs everywhere. Like, yeah, it was that. What yeah. The crap is up with those. You see I that? I mean, as a kid, <laughs> as a kid, yeah, I see them. As a kid, it's like get out of here. You know, it, it was just suddenly all your friends really liked this one thing, and you went to go check it out, and it's like, oh wow, this is amazing, and yeah, everybody you, was playing it, you, you everybody an, wanted us talking about it. Yeah, you catch an episode of the TV show, yep. and you're like, oh, it's this weird sci-fi series, these four brothers who have like these really big personalities, and then the movie came out, the original 1990 movie came out. And, and that was the highest grossing independent film until James Cameron's Titanic. Like, the turtles were huge. If, if you guys want an answer as to, like, why Ghostbusters kind of quit being a thing, it's because the turtles showed up. <laughs> like, yeah. it, it, they, they went from one big pop culture sensation to the next, and it was a very different kind of thing. Cause the, the turtles are more pulpy, more sci-fi kind of thing. Um, yeah. But, like, th th that was the thing, is, like, the turtles... What? No. Okay, they'll shoot lasers. That's good to know. Yeah. I thought those were background ornaments. I did, too. Like, that was the thing. The turtles could be anything. They could have stories about magic. They could have stories about technology. They could have stories about other dimensions. And it would still be totally on brand. Like, it's, it's hard to even describe the turtle mania. 
and, and even as a little kid, like I was definitely on board. I was like, oh yeah, the turtles are, are super awesome. There are several Halloweens that I was dressed as a ninja turtle. A snack dressed as a turtle, I know, that's weird, right? <laughs> but it's true. Reptiles, the, crazy yeah. reptiles. Yeah, we're a little zany like that. And, and like that, that's the thing, though, is like... They were everywhere, and everyone wanted a piece of the action. A shredder. What? Tatsu! Eat my foot soldier. <laughs> from the movie? Before you fight me. It, it, it's Tatsu from the movies. The, yeah. the Shredder's right hand man from the live action films. I didn't know he made a video game appearance at all. So, that's interesting. Wow. Like, stop shooting projectiles. He's, they made an original boss, I guess. Yeah, they did. I mean, it follows basically the same pattern as all the other bosses thus far, but, like, it's an original boss. It's, shush. It's original. It's, yeah, it's original. Contractual obligations, it's original. <laughs> yes, of course. It's a silly me. <laughs> Konami did not just, like, take the money and run. <laughs> the, 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 the 80s version of a Kickstarter scam. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, we have the Shega wants a unique Ninja Turtles game. What do we do? I don't know. What do we have lying around? Uh, Turtles Arcade and Turtles in Time. Yeah, okay, just mix and match. <laughs> That's probably the easiest probably boss good. fight. Master. What is happening? I don't know, but it's so Why bizarre. Did... What just happened? Shredder's hideout clear? This game is so bizarre. The gauntlet? What the heck? That's just... that, that That's Starbase's this? music. Oh, you got an extra life. Nice. <laughs> no, we have Turtles in Time at home. Turtles in Time at home. <laughs> Hyperstone <laughs> Heist. <laughs> Yeah, man, don't you remember Hyperstone Heist? <laughs> you know, there's there's gonna be someone in the comments, I guarantee you. There's at least one person right now the in the comment Heist. section this is like, This was my childhood! How dare you guys speak bad of Hyperstone Heist! And I'm gonna be like, dude, I'm sorry, but you're seeing what I'm seeing, right? I'm sorry, everybody else was wrong. Girls <laughs> in Time wasn't the thing, it was Hyperstone Heist. <laughs> <laughs> I feel, like, I feel a little bad ragging on it, but it's like, this is such... What? We're just fighting Leatherhead again? Oh, it's Purple, purple Leatherhead. leatherhead. It's... He's Shadow Leatherhead. The shadow Leather... It's the Shadow Realm version of Leatherhead. Yes. Exactly. Yeah, watch out for his... Yeah, his crawling animation. That's, why? Uh... Why? He's just a slightly faster Purple Yeah, he, he's a slightly faster Purple Leatherhead. How many continues do we get? Uh, unlimited. I hope so, because I'm about to need yeah. one. I'm pretty sure we get unlimited. I've used plenty of them already. <laughs> I've managed to hold on by a thread, but I, I think that's coming to a close. Yep, there it goes. You, except this time it's... Oh no! We ran out of continues! What, what are you talking about game over? How have I been able to just keep coming back? I guess that was all the continues we had. Unless there's a pool of it? No, no we, way. We probably have a shared pool. That's how it was in uh, Turtles in Time on the Super Nintendo. Really, game? You're going to be that... Oh, wow. Okay. okay. So, that was Hyperstone Heist. Uh-huh. And, um... That sure was a game. <laughs> was it? Was it really? I, I mean, by definition, <laughs> it was a game. <laughs> and, you know, it was a game that exists. <laughs> I, okay. Uh, okay, Genesis fans, I'm going to be honest with you, that was kind of bad. <laughs> like, yeah. I see what they were doing. It was very much a, what do we have available? What... What? We didn't get any of this before. Like, what? what is all this? 
Watch, there's gonna be an options menu now, and we're gonna have the option to give ourselves more lives or something. That's the art from Tournament Fighters! That's what? literally the portraits from Tournament Fighters on the Super Nintendo! What? The where? Hyper Stone Heist. Oh. Where was... I have to check now. I'm about to be really, really salty if there is... Yes! We could give ourselves more lives and continues. They even have the comic book option. Oh my god. Why did you skip this game? Why did you jump straight into the character select? <laughs> um, that would be a question for the devs. <laughs> hey. Like... Oh my gosh, I'm without words. Wow. Um... That was I, a thing. It it was? I'm not sure I it was a- I don't know what the Hyperstone is. I- I don't fully know either. Or where the heist happened? I- Actually, you should be able to- if you go back to the menu, you should be able to look up the, um... You know, that's a good idea. Let's, uh... It should be... We, no, I'm sorry. You have to... We have to, like... Yeah. You have to look up the, the manual for yeah. this one. I, I, I'm gonna go back. Hang on. This we this All the stuff... Here's the Turtles Lair. Turtles yeah. Lair. Boxes Strategy and guide. manuals. Game manuals. Oh, he even has the Japanese ones. That's cool. That's the Manhattan Project. Oh, that's Chosen cool. Time. Tournament Fighters. Hyperstone Heist, here we go. Okay. Shredder Here's Shrinks the Big Apple. Far below the morning rush hour in New York City, four youths are watching their favorite news reporter, April O'Neil, on television. Things are pretty comfortable for the boys in their well-furnished subterranean hideout. That is, well-furnished if you are a turtle. A mutant turtle, teenage no less, and a ninja. Okay, so you and I may not be comfortable, but these guys think the place is like Mondo to the max. April's reporting a story from nearby Ellis Island. Suddenly, there's a bright flash behind her. She doesn't seem to notice what the television viewers do. Whoa, dude, do you see that? Michelangelo asks the others. Leonardo and Raphael stop their ninja practice and look at the screen. What? Did some jerk into crowd and moon the camera again? Donatello asks from his workbench. Why does Donatello have a weird accent? <laughs> Donatello is not in space orc. No way, man, Mikey answers. There was a spectacular, most spectacular flash. It looks like an explode. Mikey stops talking. His mouth hangs open as he stares at the screen. His eyes grow wider. Leonardo rubs his eyes. Am I seeing things, or is April growing? Your perception is reversed, my son, comments Splinters. The large humanoid rat, who also serves as teacher and mentor to the boys, is standing in the doorway at the back of the room, watching the events fold, fold on TV. If you'll observe, the city is actually shrinking. On the television, April has been alerted to the commotion. She turns and watches in amazement as Manhattan and the Statue of Liberty grow smaller and smaller and... With a flash, the picture scrambles and resumes. Now instead of April reporting, the screen is filled with the face of Shredder, the turtle's long-term nemesis, master criminal, and all-around geek in general. Oh, that's showing him. Well, Listen, it's basically one of those games where um, they put all the... Po they, because it was a port, they put the whole plot in the manual. Yep. Listen and to me actually, now. Actually, if you go back... So if you go back, there's another option to the menu. Go, there's another option for strategy guide. Oh, is there? Okay. Yes, and you can see, apparently we were starting a boss rush. What? You scroll over to the, the manual, the scene manual for um, Hyperstone. It tells you, uh, like, will Shredder ever be stopped? Now he's brought back the Hyperstone from Dimension X. He used it to shrink Manhattan down to the side of a mini pizza bagel. Team up with a friend and turn the Big Apple big again in this gen exclusive. So, not only did they sell it... What? Not only, oh, that that's ridiculous. They sold it as a gen exclusive. I, I got I got distracted Hyper because in uh, in the section in strategy guide under tournament fighters, they make Karai dress up as a Super Saiyan for some reason. <laughs> beat up your buddy. Want to beat up your buddy? Press C B B A A A B C at the Konami logo. Does your turn on friendly fire? <laughs> Why? Why would you do that? What? Alternate ending. Beat hard mode to get the best ending. Or just click here to watch it. We won't tell. So scene four is just a boss rush. Because like, it shows the scenes broken down. We were almost yeah, we... at the end of the game. There was like... It was just uh, Krang in his body and then Super Shredder from... Literally, it's just Starbase. The last level is just Starbase. 
Oh, it's Starbase. It, they they only have it's like le you fight Leatherhead twice. You, you fight Rocksteady twice. Rock fight Tatsu twice. Tatsu twice. Not too twice. And then yeah. Baxter Stockman from the original arcade game shows up. Not even his That's... Turtles in Time version. It's the one where he's in the little drone from the first arcade game we did. That's so weird. And then, like, Super Krang and then Super Shredder. Why is this game so weird? Stymied by a tricky boss, not sure if optimal strategy each and every game in Cal Dungeon is a watch mode. Let's you play through the game and jump in it anytime to play yourself? Okay, that's interesting. I did not know that. Yeah, it was a Genesis exclusive, and it has five levels that are just like pastiches of other game assets from Arcade 1 and Turtles in Time. <laughs> like, wow. <laughs> this game is so bizarre. And again, like, I feel a little bad bagging on it, but it's like, no, really, this game is so weird. It's about as weird as the Karai Super Saiyan art. Yeah, I saw that. <laughs> like, why? <laughs> why is that a thing? Ultimate attack move. Twin gauges <laughs> full. Yeah. Uh, Alright, everyone. Thank you for joining us on this uh, almost successful run, where we were inadvertently challenging ourselves with limited lives and continues. We would have totally won if we had five lives and five continues. I think even if we had it on hard mode, I think we would have won. But, um... Yeah. I'm not up for trying that again. <laughs> no. <laughs> so we're going to call it here. <clears throat> Thank you, Cog, for, for joining me in my suffering. No problem. And, uh, we'll see you guys next time.